So I've got my ingredients all ready to make the couscous. I have a half a cup of dried couscous and I have three quarter cups of water. If you want to enhance your flavor a little bit more, you can probably use organic vegetable broth or organic uh, chicken broth, whatever is your choice. But the rule of thumb is when you're making couscous is half a cup to half a cup of couscous to about uh, three quarter to one cup of water. And I like to go on the lesser end of water because we don't want the couscous soggy because we really want it to fluff up very nicely for us. And then I've got onion powder and uh, granulated garlic, some cayenne and some kosher salt. I love kosher salt. I, I like the coarse the coarseness of it. I feel like I have um, control when I'm using it. And then I'm going to garnish it with um, chives and we're going we're gonna to add in the garbanzo beans. So let's get this thing started. So I've got uh, three quarter cups of water, a half teaspoon of granulated onion and a half teaspoon of granulated garlic, a dash of cayenne pepper and a quarter teaspoon of salt. And I'm going to bring this to a gentle boil and when the water boils I'm going to add the couscous in there, put the cover on and let it sit for about um, five minutes and then we'll, I'll fluff it and I'm going to just drain the garbanzo beans under water and then we're going to just add it and fluff it up and season the couscous. and. And that's that. That's this is a really quick meal to prepare. One of the main things you want to make sure that you do when you're cooking couscous is to season your stock before so that that flavor is infused into the grains. So I've just added the couscous to the water or seasoned water and I give it a good stir and now I'm going to place the lid on top. And we're just going to let that sit maybe for five minutes and then we'll fluff it up and finish it up. Okay, so what I did, I removed um, the lid from the couscous and I started fluffing it. I really wanted to show you guys what it should look like. But this is our couscous and we're just going to go ahead and take a fork and fluff it. And it's fluffing um, very nicely. And I'm going to go ahead and add our garbanzo beans in there and finish it up with some chives. And I'm using chives because I really, I love onions and I'm using chives because it takes on a very mild, mild flavor. So it's really um, not overpowering. So you can use chives, you can use cilantro, parsley, you can even use thyme if you want to, whatever flavor your taste buds are feeling for you can add that to your couscous so okay I'm literally just gonna pour the garbanzo beans in here I want to make sure I don't add any um, liquid but try to drain it as much as possible and then um, I'm just gonna go ahead and add just a little bit of well, almost all of our chives and then I'm gonna just combine that all together. And as you can see, for I'm just cooking really for myself, so for me this is like a one pot dish. If um, you're making a larger amount, you can go ahead and put the couscous into, some, into a bigger container after you've uh, finished after you finish um, letting it sit in the hot water. But this is basically our meal, guys, and it it's really, really good. Again, it's well seasoned. If you want to, at this point, you can go ahead and taste it, see if it has um, enough flavor for you. You can go ahead and add a little bit more uh, salt if you need. You can add some more garlic powder or onion powder. I'm fine with it the way it is because I'm on a low sodium diet. And I'm just gonna go ahead and sprinkle the rest of the chives on top of that. Again, I really, really love um, chives, so that's why I'm using a lot. You don't have to use a lot. You can use a little less if you want, but this is our seasoned couscous with uh, garbanzo meals. And when I'm gar garbanzo beans, and when I'm finished everything, I'm gonna put it all together to make one cohesive uh, dish. 
So next up, I'm gonna go start on our broccoli raw.